freshman year made us. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because we went into freshman year quiet. Like, we were really quiet. Yeah. I mean, on top of being quiet, like, we kind of, I feel like that's, I feel like for everybody, that's kind of that time where you are figuring, like, I mean, I was where you a are. severe introvert. I know, but I'm just saying, like, you're figuring out where you are kind of, like, socially. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you're going from middle school. Yeah. Not everybody from middle school is coming into high school with you. Yeah. Because I remember, like, when I, I was not in the same school, like, that you guys were that went all the way from elementary to oh, yeah. high school. Yeah. So when yeah. I came, I remember, like, you guys were like, what's your name? I kept saying my last name, kept saying my last name. You're just like, whoa. Because <laughs> <Yeah, like, 'cause laughs> I went to a completely <laughs> different style of school, and you guys are just like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I feel like you started from a public school, then moved to no. a charter. You were in a charter. All I was in charter. Okay, yeah. so just like me. Yeah. And back in middle school, so the way my middle school and freshman year of high school worked was, uh, we had I went to I'll bleep it, but yeah. I went to match high school, mm. and match high school was we I basically had a middle school with, yeah so the middle school classes they go to the high school classes yeah and that school was a paradox in itself <laughs> <laughs> um the school i ended up going afterwards was mm -hmm. even weirder and so in in previous episode of this um show the last person I, um, the, fir the first guest I had on the yeah. show was from my um, previous yeah. high school. And so, basically, when you first came in, like when I first, my freshman year, when I first came in, it was mm -hmm. basically uh, me and one friend, and that was the person I was close with, and that's basically the only person I was, was going to be friends with for the remainder of high school, mm -hmm. because I was like, I didn't really, because in high school, it was, in middle school, was it fun? Mm. So, especially with my name, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> it kind of carried on in high school, which is why when I came to my new new high school, I just said, "Hey, my name is Guy." <laughs> yeah. For me, I was um, it was kind of a culture shock, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> because it's just like in my middle school. Um, well, you. You probably have heard the name Smith Leadership Academy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody, and I mean everybody, addressed each other by last, last name. name? I didn't know some people's first name until I graduated. From like, like even your best friends. My best friend. We call like my best friends, like the group that I had, we called each other by last name. That's weird. So when I came, yeah, so when I came <laughs> like when I came to match, it was just like everybody's looking at me like Marquise, Marquise, like, how are you? I'm just like... Disrespectful. No, 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 like no. disrespectful child. No, like, it, no, it wasn't anything disrespectful. It was more so, like, me just going, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is not formal at all. <laughs> like, you're not calling me mister. You're not calling me, like, because that's what I was used to. I was used to that. So when I came into high school, it yeah. was kind of social, like, it was very, I was very socially awkward because when I would hear somebody's last name, like you put them on a higher astral. Like when I can't, like yeah, I kind of relate because back in Haiti, I went to a private Catholic school, yeah. and everybody was addressed by the last name, and yep. we had to wear uniform. And so when I showed up in my first day in America with um, with a uniform, uh, with like uniforms, like I had my mm -hmm. clothes like freshly uh, ironed. And my shirt tucked in, and my and I like like church shoes on, and with like a white socks. Just making me I have flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I walked into like first a first day of elementary in, mm -hmm. in America. I was like I stood out because I was like, yo, what are you wearing? Everybody was dressed down like completely. Why are you wearing blue jeans? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like it was like black khaki pants, white shirt, mm. tie. And, 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 like, uh, freshly polished shoes. Yeah. And, and everybody was like, this is so weird. So, like, for, like, for, I did that for, like, six months straight. I was like, oh, it must be a dress down day. <laughs> I was in denial for six months. 
And then when I and then and then, and then afterwards, I was like, oh, so you guys really be like that. And then I went to middle school, and then they're like, uniforms are back, tucked in your shirt. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it was like the weirdest like transitions ever. See, I've had uniform my entire life, so going into match was like nothing new for me. Yeah. But one thing I will say, like ninth grade, like I was kind of nervous because you guys didn't like. It's just like you guys acted a bit different. Oh yeah. That but then I kind of like, I kind of got like absorbed into it. And honestly, like like I said before, ninth grade is that time where you're finding out where you are, like in terms of like, like oh like who who like where do I fit in? Like yeah. my friends, this that and, and this. Who was like and the people that? It was crazy. Yeah. Because I know you remember ninth grade. Everybody got off the um, everybody got off the green line, and just booked it. Just was running all the way to school. Yeah. Like we got off at um what is it? Was it was like Kenmore? Um no, it wasn't Kenmore. That's too far of a sprint. <laughs> like no, we remember, got off um we got off at uh BU. No, it was like the end of the year for me. I would literally get off Kenmore and never and not, and not get off like uh I forgot what that stop is. <laughs> all right, that's something else. Yeah. But <laughs> just like yeah. um we got off remember when we got off at um BU and after that like we ran like to the school. Oh yeah, a crowd, just a, like a massive crowd. Oh yeah, and all the college students were just like, what, the, what the heck's going on? And it was a horde. <laughs> that like ninth grade made me because like a the pressure, of kids. <laughs> the pressure for being in a new environment. Oh yeah, um, and the, the location of that school the, too. Yeah, the location was definitely like a thing because at that time you like, have to get a step in. I was I was living in uh, Mattapan, so going from Mattapan, like in the morning, waking up, yeah. waiting for the bus to get to school on <laughs> time, BU, it was just like, and I mean, the bus laws definitely did change, like, well, the I don't know, like, bus law regulation or whatever it was, like, mm -hmm. that happened in Boston, where it was just like, once you reach a certain grade, you yeah. kind of just start taking public transportation. I'm yeah. pretty sure you know about that, because you... Up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, so, but the thing is, for me, the commute was always long, because like um, I started off living in Quincy in ninth grade. In ninth grade, I moved to three locations. Mm -hmm. So beginning of ninth grade, I was in Quincy, mm -hmm. and then after that, I moved to Milton, and then after that, I moved to Whitman at the end of the year. I remember that. And and so like I <laughs> I was in I was in Whitman going to school in Boston. Yep. And Taking and, and making sure I wake up early. Like, I took the commuter all once because my parents would normally drive me and then I just spent time mm -hmm. at my dad's work and then take the train. So one time I actually overslept and then I had to take the commuter rail. And then taking the commuter, I got lost in Braintree because I didn't know uh, what... Oh, I got lost in Braintree because I didn't know what train to take. Mm -hmm. So I let two or three trains pass by not and forgetting that Braintree was the last stop. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but uh, I, I'm not a morning person. So if uh, if <laughs> the best way to frame me for anything, actually, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> uh, we can edit that, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, but um, I mean, yeah, the commute was like. I had to wake up at like six in the morning, yeah, and it was literally an hour commute, bus and train, yeah. and it's just like ninth grade year, like it was just ninth grade was just chaotic. Oh yeah, it was. Tenth grade. That was calm. We kind of Ish. felt yeah, yeah, we like everybody kind of had like a click. Yeah. <laughs> everybody hung out with like this particular group. Except me. Everybody <laughs> like had like this particular. The lunch tables. Yeah, Not, you who could tell. Lunch ta I mean, yeah, it, I you mean, could tell who was friends with who. Yeah, based on where in the lunchroom everybody sat, because everybody who was friends with this particular group was at yeah. this lunch table. They like. I feel like 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 a semester in ninth grade, everyone mm -hmm. kind of like okay, this is who we're cool with, and then kind of like create subgroup from the main group. And then there's like, okay, this is my specific clique of people that I'm going to ride for like a long time. 
And some of us kind of stayed there, except for me, because I left. Yeah, you ended up leaving. I, I was going to say, yeah. Right after high school, right after ninth grade. Yeah, I was going to say. I finally got a comfortable friend group. Yeah, ninth yeah. grade, like, when you left, like, I would say, like, it completely changed because it was just like, okay, like, everybody went to being awkward, <laughs> like, near the end of the year. Hello there. I hope you like that. All right. Um... If you want to see the next episode, well, that's going to be here on the WSCA ch uh, channel. But if you want to see more videos about um, of the talk show, here are some clips. Full episode here. And subscribe. I can't reach, but it's somewhere down there.